What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out one of the latest projectors from Vankyo called the Leisure 530W. This is a projector that has a native resolution of 1080p, so whatever you're seeing projected on a screen or on the wall, depending on where you're projecting, will be in 1080p. And this is very important because a lot of cheaper projectors have a native resolution of either 480p or 720p. So this one you get much better video quality. Alright, and starting with a very quick unboxing, the projector comes in a fairly big box but well protected in that box and the first thing you will find is a portable projector screen. Now, personally I haven't used this because I have a bunch of white walls around the house but it could come in super handy if you don't have any white walls at home. There is also an HDMI cable and an AV cable, the remote control. The remote control is fairly small and it takes two AAA batteries, but keep in mind that those don't come in the box, so you have to buy those separately. And aside from that, you're going to find two user manuals. One of the user manuals is mostly dedicated to screen mirroring. And talking about screen mirroring, well, this works great with iPhones or Android devices, but keep in mind that not all Android devices are the same. So the pairing process may be a bit different depending on what kind of Android device you're using. I personally use the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. For iPhones, it should be the same for um, all of them. And I found that um, you get the best results if you connect the projector to your home's um, Wi-Fi network and you use the screen mirroring that way. Uh, talking about screen mirroring, everything works really good. There is no lag from starting videos or watching pictures or playing games or anything like that. What you're seeing on the screen right now um, is a game that I played on my iPhone. So I was playing the game um, on the iPhone and I had the, the screen mirroring turned on. And as you can probably see for yourself, it does work really good. And there is no lag from the time you actually play the game on the phone and um, what you're seeing on the screen. So the screen mirroring does work extremely well um, for both iOS and Android. Alright, taking a closer look at the projector itself, well this is mostly made out of plastic except for the lens here that's uh, made out of glass. On the front here we also have one of the IR uh, receivers, we have another one of these on the back um, of the projector and that means that you can point the remote control either to the back or to the front of the projector and it will always work. With some other cheaper projectors that I've tried in the past you only get one of those, so you always have to point the remote control towards that um, IR receiver. Well, with this one it works um, no matter where um, you're pointing the remote control. On the back there we have the plug for um, the power cable and we also have the holes for the speaker. And talking about the speaker, I want to show you a quick example so you can hear how loud um, the speaker sounds when using the projector, of course. Since the projector will be on, you're also going to hear the fan inside it. So let's check out that quick um, recording so you can see how the speaker sounds. Driving and more specifically driving on ice and snow. Because if you live somewhere like Canada, well here we have to drive with ice and snow on the roads for about 4-5 to five months every single year. So whenever you're buying a new car, you definitely want a car that's good on snow. So snow performance or winter driving performance is definitely important. Now over the past few days we definitely got some snow and I was happy to see that because I finally got a good chance to test out the car and see how it performs on snow and ice. And in today's video I'm gonna share that experience with you. So depending what model tree you get... You are... And as you've heard for yourself, the speaker inside the projector does sound quite good and probably the best that I've heard from one of these affordable um, projectors. You can always attach external speakers if you want better sound. So on the left and on the right hand side here we have holes for heat dissipation and keep in mind that we have that um, fan inside the projector that will help um, with heat dissipation. On this side here we have the focus um, adjustment and you probably notice that we don't have a keystone adjustment. Well, that has to do with the fact that we have auto keystone adjustment. So the projector can do that um, for you, which is definitely a bonus. On the other side of the projector here we have a USB port, we have two HDMI ports, we have an AV port, um, the 3.5mm audio jack and a slot for an SD card. 
So you can basically attach a bunch of things to the projector and use it to a lot of things at the same time. So let's say with the one HDMI port, you can attach a TV box and with the second one, you can attach like a PlayStation or something like that. And lastly, at the top of the projector, we have the power button and all the other um, buttons so you can access the menus, change um, the input and so on. If you don't want to use this, you can use the remote control, but if you don't want to use uh, the remote control, you can always use these controls. These are the exact same buttons that you have on the remote control. So from what I've seen, the LED lamp inside it is bright enough so you can actually use the projector in a fairly bright room. Um, this is a recording that I've done about uh, two or three days ago and um, that room was fairly bright. Now keep in mind that that wall um, one um, which I was projecting is um, painted with some um, shinier white paint. So the quality of the recording wasn't um, the best obviously because of that shiny wall. But next I'm gonna go in a darker um, place um, where I've um, done a recording on a matte wall. So you can actually see how the video quality is. Um, I'm gonna show you the menus um, and so on. So let me take the camera to that other room and um, we'll go from there. Alright, so I want to show you quickly the projector's menu and see what um, is available. So I'm using the remote control and you can basically use the remote control no matter where um, you are because um, the projector has one sensor on the front and one on the back. So if I press the menu button on um, the projector, we get this. This is your first uh, settings menu basically. For picture mode here, you can change the way the picture looks like. So if we change to soft or... Um, vivid you can make um, the image a bit more vivid but i find that the standard one um, works best for me i'm just gonna scroll down through this just so you can see them all we'll go to the next page of course um, the projector has that built-in um, speaker that i mentioned uh, earlier and it does sound um, quite loud but keep in mind that the projector also has a fan inside so you're gonna have to turn up um, the volume a bit um, higher and you can always plug in some external speakers um, if you'd like. And here we have the keystone um, adjustment, which I mentioned earlier that we have um, auto adjustment, which um, is definitely better than doing it um, manually and much um, easier, of course. So that's about it for uh, the projector's menu. So we'll exit this. Um, as you can see, I have um, a TV box connected to the projector. I'm just going to grab the mouse here. Um, I want to show you how a movie would look on uh, on the projector. We are in a fairly dark room at the moment and the projector is placed about 3 meters away from um, the wall. Unfortunately, I don't have that much space um, in this room here because I needed something with a white um, wall. So let's skip forward to this uh, movie a bit. You're not going to hear anything from uh, the projector speaker right now because I have the microphone uh, pointed away from the projector, so it's pointed um, towards me. So let me stop this. Um, we'll start another one. Let's try this one, for example. I just want to show you the image quality while playing uh, a movie. We'll skip forward once again. I won't be able to play um, this uh, TV show too long because um, I'll um, definitely get a copyright uh, claim. So I just wanted to give you an idea how uh, this would look. Of course, since you have the other um, HDMI port, uh, let me open the input section here. Since you have the other HDMI port, you can always plug in like a PlayStation or an Xbox or something like that. If you want to play games, if you want to watch movies, um, if you have like an Apple TV box, um, you can uh, plug that in. So you can basically use the projector for um, as a screen. So let me press that once again. And then we have that USB port. So if you have some movies on um, a USB stick, for example, you could play them um, on the projector. But I find that most movies, TV shows, etc. will actually work better if you have a TV box or um, something like that. Because those support more formats um, and so on. Not to mention that you can play files that are in 4K, um, etc. So yeah, this is how the projector's menu looks like. So the projector like this, you can basically use it as a screen for anything, for a laptop, for a TV box, for an Apple TV box, um, whatever you have, you can basically use on this. You can also play games on it. If um, you have a PlayStation or something like that, um, you can connect that to the projector and you can play games on a bigger screen. 
And this is an example of a game that I played um, two days ago or yesterday or something like that um, in a darker um, room. So let's check that out. So there you have it, this is the Vankyo Leisure 530W. I have to say, for its price, this projector gets the best image quality that I've seen so far. But in all fairness, most of the other um, projectors that I've tried in the past had uh, a native resolution of either 480p or 720p. So 1080p, this is definitely a step up. It seems to be bright enough to be used in most situations and the speaker inside it is also pretty loud. So if you're looking for an affordable entry-level projector, this is definitely one that you should consider. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.